happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Well, by the time you see this, I hope you all had an amazing day. I'm going to be going up to a birthday party today with the fiance and the kids. I figured I would take you guys along for the ride up there. It's not usually an area I ride around, so... And we gotta stop and get gas first. You already know the routine. Hey, yo, lady, can I get your number? Well, I'm following you, so I can't drive like a maniac. So those are our plans for the day. We're gonna be going up to uh, her family's house for a birthday party. Hanging out, having some food, chilling with family. And then later, I think me, her, and the kids are gonna go blow up some fireworks and have a few drinks. But nothing crazy today. I figured it'd be the perfect opportunity for me to ride the motorcycle up here. When I could just be in that car, but... That's no fun. Let's see if we can go up beside her and rev bomb. beautiful weather out here today about 78 degrees a little bit of clouds in the sky perfect for the July weather couldn't ask for a better day that's for sure when it comes to the weather last week I didn't even ride my motorcycle I know I posted that video but that was archived from the week before we had such a bad heat wave last week I didn't even want to go out on my motorcycle like the real field temperature was like 105 I was dying I wasn't trying to go out on the motorcycle. I figured I could wait a few days. A little too hot for my liking, but today's perfect. I would love to go demo some Harley bikes. I only rode one Harley bike before, and it was, I think, the 250 Sportster or something like that. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, if that's not even a real thing, but that was during my um, training course. I was learning how to ride motorcycles, so but yeah, that's the only time I ever rode a Harley, so I would definitely like to get out there and try some. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I really want to try that live wire, the electric bike. So I'm gonna have to really start looking at some Harley forms and see if they have any around me. Hey, we got our first homie. Hey, none of them wave. Go f yourselves. Oh, we got a cop. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're good guys. Phew, that was a close one. So technically I'm supposed to be at work right now, but they gave us the day off. So all around it's just a win-win day for me. I'm out here riding my motorcycle, gonna go to a nice birthday party. Like it's a good day for me, regardless. So I'm so happy they gave us off of work. I was not expecting that. So, second to Halloween, I'd have to say 4th of July might be my favorite holiday. Halloween will always be my favorite, there's no change in that, never will. But, uh, 4th of July, you can blow things up, catch things on fire, drink beer, go out and ride your motorcycle. I mean, what could be better, really? Cookouts? I don't know. Pretty good, <laughs> it's a pretty good holiday. just so I can cook a little bit. See, now that is the kind of fiance you want to get. I mean, look, she's just out here cooking it in the SUV. So go ahead and find yourself a fiance that'll do that for you. All right, guys, so we're coming into Centralia. Like right here, I'll post a picture and you'll see what the town used to look like. And then obviously now you can see what the town looks like. There was a huge mining fire that happened quite a while ago. 
and they pretty much condemn the whole town i think there might be one or two residents that live here that won't move but the rest of them are all gone if you guys have never looked up centralia look it up it's a sweet place i know it brings in a lot of tourists like so much that they had a graffiti highway there was an old highway that used to run off right up here that they had to cut off and reroute because of the damage to the road from the fires underneath us now people would go in there and they would spray graffiti all over the place and i guess whoever owns the land got sick of it and they shut it down so the way they shut it down was they put these dirt piles in down the entire stretch of the highway so you can no longer check out graffiti highway that was a really cool place to check out but I'll, I'll see if I can grab a picture of that too and throw it in for you right about here. It was just a place people could go spray paint the road, do whatever you want, but people got out of hand with it, like everything else, so they shut it down. I guess they got tired of all the wieners spray painted all over the road. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, if you come up in the winter, you can actually see the ground smoking in certain areas. And it's got that real eerie vibe to it. Silent Hill was actually based off of this area, from what I've heard. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they tell me. So take that information with a grain of salt, if you will. Oh, she went that way. even see her turn. I was too busy waving at my biker friends. I see her. I see her. We found her. Oops. Alright. This might be it. Alright. Yeah. I think we're here guys. Okay. Alright guys. We're here. So. I am not going to take you long for this part of the journey, but when we get back on the road, you'll be there. Alright guys, and we're done with the party, and it is officially the next day. So after the party yesterday, I went ahead and resumed the video, and for some reason, the rest of my trip, the audio was ruined. The GoPro didn't pick up my external mic and it just used its regular mic so you couldn't hear me at all so, so here we are again making another video but this is just going to be a continuation on yesterday's video but that's all right because it just gives me another excuse to go out and ride so I really can't complain. I was a little upset at first when I went and uploaded the footage and only that first half captured, but that's okay. Everything happened for a reason. But overall, I had a great 4th of July. I got to spend time with some friends and family. Had some good food. No drinks there, but when I got home, I was able to have a few beers. And very relaxing 4th of July. A bunch of our neighbors were lighting off fireworks. I thought the one guy was going to catch the neighborhood on fire. That was a great time. We didn't have anything too fancy. We just had a few of those little sparkling fountain things. <laughs> but my older daughter liked it. The youngest was in bed. She didn't get to see any of the fireworks. She can't hang with the big dogs yet. Maybe next year. And yesterday I didn't really have any objectives. I was just going to the birthday party if you want to consider that an objective. But today I have to go get some beer. I'm out. So we're going to do that. Stuff it in the backpack. I think I can get a 12 case in here. So how was your guys' 4th of July? You guys do anything exciting? Maybe go for some rides with your friends? I know I had an amazing 
amazing ride yesterday. That was so nice. The weather was perfect. I would have loved going for a group ride, but, you know, I don't have any friends, so. And the ones that I do have, he never wants to go for a ride. Or maybe isn't allowed. I don't really know what the deal is there. And then the other guys, I have a hard time, uh, you know, communicating a good time for us to ride. When they want to ride, I'm usually at work and vice versa. So I did go by myself yesterday, but that's all right. I don't really mind the solo rides, especially like yesterday. Man, it was so peaceful. I had to hang out and talk with you guys. Not that you can talk back at the moment, but I enjoy the comments you leave on the video. So, in a sense, it's like hanging out with you guys when I'm out here. Hey, we're almost to my favorite spot. Way up there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll stop for a little bit and check out the scenery. And here we are. Yeah, we just park here for a little bit and look around, enjoy the views. I mean, look, it almost looks fake. Yeah, I mean, you would almost think like it's just a painting. I don't know how to describe it, but it just doesn't look real when you look out that way. A little bit hazy today. You can't see as far as you normally can. I mean, sometimes you can like see forever it feels, but I know some of those back mountains are actually cut off right now with the humidity, even though it's not that bad today, but enough to block out those back mountains. And the bike just looks so good when you're over here. <laughs> Give you guys a quick walk around of the bike. Like you haven't already seen it a million times, but everybody likes a bike walk around, right? There are the Vance and Hine three inch slash cut pipes I have on the bike. I know a lot of people comment in my videos asking what I have for an exhaust and there it is, Vance and Hines, three inch slash cut. I think they're absolutely perfect. They have the perfect pitch. They're not too high, they're not too low. Overall, I really, really enjoy them. I'm not a fan of the super loud bikes and definitely not a fan of the super quiet bikes. So I highly recommend them. If you're looking for an exhaust system on your Indian Scout Bobber or your Indian Scout, whatever, I definitely recommend the Vance and Hine three inch slash cuts. They're relatively cheap. I mean, there's way more expensive exhaust out there. There are cheaper options, but I think these look good. They kind of hold that look of the stock ones they are a little shorter but not by much uh they're not near as short as those little grenades that people put on the indian scouts but uh yeah overall it's a great purchase i highly recommend them if you don't have an exhaust on your bike and you're looking for one but anyway let's get back on the bike continue this cruise i'll give you guys one more look at this beautiful scenery still one of my absolute favorite spots to go to never gets old uh, that never gets old either the startup oh, I love the sound of this bike oh man looks like someone had a firework mishap last night <laughs> They got a big old rocket just buried into the ground. That's pretty sweet. I'm sure that wasn't a firework mishap. I'm sure that's always been there, but that's pretty funny. So anyway, guys, I was thinking, I kind of want to come up with like a video series for adventures like this where I don't have a destination to go to and I'm just kind of cruising around talking with you guys, just kind of doing the typical moto vlog. I want to, uh, I want to come up with a name for like an episodic kind of series. I was uh, thinking of a few, like maybe go out and ride, or get out and ride, you know, or like Indian Scout Bobber Adventures. Like, for instance, if I came up with a title, like I would go with like Go Out and Ride Episode 1, and this would be what you're getting. But I know I enjoy filming these videos with you guys, kind of chatting with you. I know you can't talk back right now, but in the comments when I post the videos, it's always nice talking with you guys. These are some of my favorite kind of videos to make so far. I love just getting out and riding. So it's kind of why I'm thinking I might just call it go out and ride. But if you guys have any other suggestions, drop them down in the comments below and let me know. We can kind of come up with that together. 
I think I might just go ahead and title this one Go Out and Ride Episode 1 and uh, we'll go from there. But if you guys have any better suggestions for me, yeah, let me know. I think that'd be pretty cool coming up that I think that would be pretty cool coming up with that with you guys. I want to try to involve you guys as much as I can in the videos. I know that's hard when you're not out here riding the motorcycles, but I like to interact for sure. It's been one of my favorite things so far about doing this whole YouTube thing. All right, well, we got to ride through a bunch more back roads for the day to kind of give this video an ending, which got ruined. But now it's time to head to the beer store and see if we can't stuff a 12-pack in the back of my backpack. Hey, you know what time it is. if you will I'm gonna head in and grab some beer I will be back in a few seconds You guys were ever wondering if you could jam an 18 pack of bottles inside of your backpack while riding your Indian Scout bobber then I have the answer for you you sure can that lady had a lot of doubt inside I should have filmed it I mean I was filming maybe I'll throw the audio clip of her up there but she did not foresee me getting that uh, 18 pack of bottles inside of my backpack and be able to ride feel a little weighted down and the seams of my backpack are about to split <laughs> so thankfully we don't have too much farther to go I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video <laughs> I think I think that's a good note to end on uh, I had a fun adventure even though this was kind of a two-parter but for you guys it's just kind of one part <laughs> you're still watching the same video but uh, I had a blast 4th of July was amazing I had such a good time I'm glad work gave it off to me so I got to spend time with some family, enjoy the fireworks, a few drinks, all that. But like I said before, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of you guys that watch the videos that don't hit that subscribe button. You're going to miss a lot of good content unless you come stumbling across it by luck. The YouTube algorithm is a little weird, so make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming to this channel gonna end the video here with the exhaust bouncing off this wall over here I love the way it sounds and I'm sure you guys will too have a good day peace out